Well, I'm laughing because I had to redo this because I said unwaxed melons, first of all. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to the channel and if you want to see me make this sticky lemon chicken it's basically um, a take on Gordon Ramsay's level up chicken um, just a few differences the differences are we're using onions not shallots we've got dry thyme not fresh thyme um, and I think that's about it but it's very it's just a take on his recipe but if you come along I'll show you how we made it Okay, so to do this sticky lemon, it's a take on Gordon Ramsay's recipe. Um, you're going to need soy sauce, a couple of lemons, onion, honey, garlic cloves, black pepper, salt, thyme. We're using dry thyme. Fresh thyme is better. Some white wine vinegar, some oil for the cooking, and then some chicken thighs. So there's a lot here because we're doing it for everyone. So you just scale it to what you like. Honestly, go and check out Gordon Ramsay's Level Up uh, on YouTube and that will give you the recipe for, I think it's four thighs. Um, and it'll also go through like fresh thyme and stuff. So yeah, so that's what you're going to need. So all that, I'll put it in the description, um, the measurements and stuff for what we're going to be using. Okay, so first thing to do is get your chicken. You can put this on a board or whatever. I've just got them in this bowl because we need to stab them, the thighs. And just says uh, stab them so they get like near the bone, so you're cooking them and, and all this. So you don't want it to be pink. So you're just basically putting a few stabs in that chicken thigh. Then season with lots of salt and pepper. So the idea is to get plenty of salt and pepper in there. I'm using uh, sea salt, not just use salt you've got to be honest. Um, yeah, and just bring it all together. Okay, so washed hands. We've got the chicken seasoned. We're going to get the garlic, and we're just going to get the back of the knife, push it down, and then just really crushing the garlic, and then the skin should just peel off really, really easy. And what we're going to do, we're going to put them into the pan, whole like that. Okay, so we've got unwaxed lemons. Well, I'm laughing because I had to redo this because I said unwaxed melons, first of all. So we're doing it all with the skins on, peel the lot. It's all going to go in the pan like this. Really, I'm going to cut them ends off. That's probably a better way of doing it. Let's get rid of the ends. We don't want the ends in there. Um, where's the other one? Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll take that totally out. So, yeah, so you're just really chunky. Chunky lemon. Nearly said melon again. So, next step. So, we've got one large onion. This is totally optional. Um, I think, to be honest, maybe two onions for this recipe, just because of the amount of chicken. So, get your onion, peel it, and then we're just going to slice it. We're not going to put it into... We're not chopping it up. We're just slicing it. Everything in this is going to be quite... Uh, what's the word when you say chunky? Fairly rustic. So we're just simply slicing the onion. Nothing fancy. Keeping it as simple and as rustic as possible. Okay, so medium heat. You've got like your uh, tablespoon, or well, two tablespoons of uh, oil in there. And you want to put the chicken in skin side down. So just get your chickens in there. Skin side down. I'm going to do this in two batches because I don't want to overfill the pan. So we'll do four and then we'll do another four. Okay, so we've got that chicken going now. And what you've got to do is uh, one of the lemons, because like I say, they split this now. So we're going to do this as only four. So the rest of this is going to be about four or five, uh, not the eight of them splitting it. So you want to add that lemon into the pan. Like we said, straight in there. Tips and all, skin, a whole lot, and we'll come back in a minute. Okay, so we've done a little bit, about two minutes. Now we're going to have... No. Okay, so we've gone about two minutes on this chicken. Sorry, since we put the lemons in. And now we're adding the uh, chunky garlic. And we're going to add half of that onion. And then... Gonna add. Then 
the half a tablespoon of thyme going in. What I'm going to do now, turn the fries over. You can see it's all browning, but it's coming, coming along fantastically. So just give it a bit of a stir. And we'll keep an eye on this, and we'll keep going back to it. Okay, so we're eight minutes in after we've added the lemons. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to take the chicken out of the pan and I'm going to make the sauce and then re-add the chicken and let it sit, like basically, let it reduce and cook. So what I'm going to do, check, take these out and then we'll do the sauce. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention was you need a chicken stock at this stage. So I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the video. So chicken stock in, 50 mils of dark soy, a tablespoon of honey, well as close as a tablespoon, I'm, not, I'm just putting this in and doing it by eye. You need two tablespoons, I'm using white wine vinegar. Again, I'm just going to guess this and the last thing we're going to add here is 50 mils of water. Okay, 50 mils, and bring this up to a simmer. Okay, so the sauce is starting to simmer. Back in with the chicken. Then we're going to put a lid over the whole lot. I'm just going to get that stock. Don't want to waste that. That's going to go in. I'm going to put a lid on and let this simmer now. Um, it's going to be different for everyone, but check back. I'd go 10 minutes, check it, and see if that chicken's cooked and if that sauce is reduced. So we're about five minutes in, just checking in. Yeah, everything's doing well. Okay, so we're 10 minutes in. Take the lid off. I've got excuse the noise. It is a kitchen. <laughs> We've got the washing machine going. And then we're going to go about another eight minutes without the lid just so it will reduce more. So what that's happened there, it's given a steam. So it's it basically a steam the chicken, and all we need to do now is reduce it to get that sauce going. So we'll come back eight minutes time. Okay, so there we go, eight minutes up. You can see now, nice sauce come together. Put it on the plate, and you can have a look at it. Okay, there we go. So, a little bit of chicken, some lemon, let's get a bit of garlic on there, and then a little bit of that sticky sauce over the top. And there you go. What I'd say is, you could serve this with rice, potatoes, what else would you have it with on its own? Noodles. It goes with lots of things. So there it is. So what I'll do now, I'll cut into this and we can have a look. Okay, so like I say, chicken's done. Let's get into there. You can see it. You can see there. It's really, if you just come in close, it's not dry whatsoever. It's worked out really well. And yeah, I'm gonna enjoy that now. Probably have some egg fried rice of ours. But yeah, there you go, sticky chicken or sticky lemon chicken like I say it's a take on Gordon Ramsay's um, but there's a few changes but that's my recipe that's what I've done I enjoy it I'm going to sit down now and go and enjoy this thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one yeah all I need are some better days because all I want and I pray I believe in the better days